Okay, we're doing another oil measurement here. We're into 875 kilometers since the last oil change. And I'm reading the sensors with beamer link, just a few sensors at a time here, but um, in correlation with the E dipstick, I get a little bit better, finer data here. So when it went low, I just put uh, 800 milliliters in. So the technical information service site for BMW, I have the ISO so I can run the, the dealer software on my computer. It says that if this goes down to min, you're supposed to add one liter or one quart to bring it up to max. But it was just a quarter above the min, which TIS says you're supposed to add roughly 800 milliliters, which I did. So that brought it up to max. So when, what I noticed, uh, I'm trying to get a, a baseline with the Restore and Protect. I've uh, been using it for two OCIs now. And so far, I don't think it's really improving the oil consumption it's you know some people say yes it does some people say no it it didn't help them with their vehicles so the internet's all over the place and sometimes there's a lot of misinformation but the product itself has a patent and claims some outrageous things like cleaning enough carbon that if there's any blow by or any excessive uh, oil conditions that is oil related then it can clean it up and it they there's people that report their oil consumption has dropped drastically others say hasn't changed but valvoline stands by that you must use their product for four oil changes at least four consecutive oil changes before you can really um what do you see observe the difference so um in the case of what I'm see, what I'm doing here is I'm monitoring some of the oil related sensors and then some of the coolant and engine temperature, ambient temperature and, and the um, cat temp. But <clears throat> this won't work unless there's certain prerequisites. Like the engine has to be up to temperature before you do an oil measurement, which is kind of stupid because what if you're really low it'll be too late before you start your car up right so anyways i'm i'm i've been probing this and my oil pressure is um is around 2.5 bar just idling which is normal and then during the service the oil check service it goes up to about three which is normal and as for absolute um level while the engine is running it sits around 75 millimeter now when i first topped it up it said 77 but as the engine got started in in moving the oil around it dropped down to 75 and, and sometimes it goes to 76 but you can see i'm kind of graphing at the same time it's pretty stable right now and um it may be temperature related too because the oil I put in was cold, so I don't know if that sort of faked out the sensor or something. But uh, what I want to do is my next oil change, I, I got a oil changing jug and a measuring cup. This car takes 5.5 liters of oil and all the technicians usually put in 4.73 liters because that's one jug you can get five liter jugs but i'm always shy like you have to buy another um one liter of oil to make max capacity right so i started bringing in my own oil so now i have to bring them in the exact amount so we don't have to screw around and they don't charge me extra for their product which is you pay a premium at these um places for euro oil so They'll do the oil change for me for 60 bucks. I bring the filter and the oil 
and they do everything that i need so I, i'm pretty happy i like the guys it's just if i buy their oil through them it turns into like a 200 hundred dollar oil change which is ridiculous and um actually mr lube wants like 230 or something for their oil and so I save a bit of money importing the oil from the States. I get Valvoline Re Restore and Protect 020 and 530. Though it is expensive, it's $200 for three jugs with shipping. And it's not available here yet, though it will be soon, I, I was told by Valvoline, maybe by the fall, they said. So what I wanted to do, get to the get to the meat and potatoes here, is figure out where beamer links reading the sensor in millimeter millimeters of it must be a level measurement or something though there is ways it's the d which is the diagnostic software the dealer uses i have it on my laptop in the in the proper cable i haven't read it i haven't hooked it up yet to read what the unit of measurement is i'm told it's millimeters so um, and this is in reference, this says raw value oil level, and then there's another parameter, 74, 71, which doesn't change much. I don't know why it doesn't change much, but that says unfiltered oil level. So everyone tells me to just read the raw data, raw value, which is sitting at 75 right now. And then when you do um, oil check, it usually stays about the same if, if the level's good. If the level's low, then it'll fluctuate a bit. <clears throat> so in my next oil change, I'm putting 5.5 liters in. And then I'm going to see what this number says. Because I put in about 800 milliliters to bring it up, bring the gauge up to max. Which is what TIS says. And I imagine that I'm still short by half a quart. So this thing won't show overfill condition. I've been warned about that. It will never tell you if your oil is uh, slightly too low or slightly too high. It, when max a max reading <coughs> seems to be a general course a course reading. So um, I don't know if 5.5 liters is actually 80 millimeters or 78 or what but i can tell you when it was just a quarter above the the min mark which is still okay they say top ups optional at that point so that's what i did i don't want to run it into the ground kind of thing but <clears throat> I, I put in 800 milliliters brought me up when it went down to min it went down to about 69 70 68 69 70 when I showed men so I'm gonna be monitoring this very closely to see if if it is men it must be around 65 then is what I would imagine so I don't think I'm gonna need to drop it down to men but I definitely want to see what the max is thanks for stopping by I'll keep you updated on the next oil change I might go in this weekend or wait till next weekend. I don't know yet. Depends on the weather because we got a snowstorm coming. Ciao for now.